How's it going, everybody? My name is Dalton. Welcome back to another episode of Garage 99. Today, it's time to finally ditch these old raggedy seats and get something a little better than that. So as I may have mentioned in another episode, I did get these new PCI lowering brackets for the seats. I did have a seat in mind. I actually had a buddy of mine, shout out to you, Corey. He came out, brought a Sparco Sprint out with two different brackets and test fit both of them in my car. And uh, that's a good sales pitch because I actually loved the new bracket. So that's the new bracket and there's the brand new Sparco Sprint seat. It is obviously brand new. So we're gonna have to go ahead and get it mounted on there with the hardware that he gave me. I think they're 13 millimeter bolts or whatever. And then get that seat out and get it all fitted in there. So I'm pretty excited. I, I'm really looking forward to having a different seat in this car, but we'll get to it. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Why were you just using a lint roller all over it? Well, I got it kind of cheaper because it was purchased, somebody had it, test fit it, didn't like it, whatever, blah, 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 had dog hair on it, they sent it back. So it's still brand new, it's just been test fitted, but it's now all cleaned up. We're gonna get it mounted on these brackets and then we'll pull this seat out. All right, now that we got the brackets mounted on there, we got it all cleaned up, I'm gonna pull this seat out. Should be four 14 millimeter bolts holding it in. Okay, now normally I would say obviously the new one's better than this one, but this one does have speakers in the headrest. So, I mean, that's kind of sick, but as you can see, just like the level of how much further in the Sparco sits than this one, we're gonna get a lot of seat room and the headrest is a little higher overall. So it's actually gonna protect the back of our neck, you know, from whiplash and whatnot. So just because I'm gonna tuck all this wiring under the carpet here, that way it doesn't give us any problems. So it appears as though I'm still gonna have to hit the transmission tunnel a little bit um, in this front right area or smooth it, massage it as people call it. Uh, this is something you're gonna have to do if you use different seat brackets because the factory seat brackets are very specifically designed to fit this car in a way that you can't use anything wider for a wider based seat. This is a very common problem. So you have to peel the carpet back and gently massage the tunnel. There's a lot of room on the inside of the tunnel for the transmission, so don't be afraid to go nuts. Do whatever you gotta do to make it fit. This is gonna be a lot of trial and error while doing this, but I don't know if you guys can see, look at how much room I have in this car now. I mean, I'm a good distance away from the steering wheel. I mean, I'm probably pretty far away from the top of it. I still got all this. I know this is against here, but it fits good. Wings don't hit anything. I can basically now use the center console dash as an armrest. I mean, this thing fits in here pretty good. So I'm very happy with the uh, the seat and the bracket. This will work out well for me. 
Now is the hard part of getting it attached in the back. The front's attached, trying to get to the back is the hard part. So I'll try and figure it out and maybe take it for a test drive before I upload this video. We'll see. Okay, I guess I should have explained why I got this seat. There's not very many combinations of seats and brackets that actually fit in these cars. The Sprint seems to be a good seat that's made by Sparkle, that's not super expensive, that's FIA approved, and that is comfy enough for me to daily drive this car or for me to take it to the track and be secure and safe. I had to go with something that was obviously fixed that couldn't recline or slide because that takes up a lot of space. And then I also had to get some sort of custom made bracket or somebody who specifically made one that lowered the seat down a lot so somebody can get the maximum amount of headroom. So that's the reason I got that. The PCI bracket is specifically made for the Sprint. It wasn't on the very uh, furthest back bolts because my legs are fine. I have plenty of leg room. I'm just trying to get the headroom. For me to move the seat even further back, I'm just gonna be hitting this and it's not gonna be doing me any good. It's up against it now, but it's not causing any issues right now. So that's what we want. Everything is the way it needs to be and it sits in there good. But yeah, I got the seat mounted. Uh, the way I was mounting the seat before, it's a lot easier if you put the bracket in the car first and then put the bolts on the mounts. Either way you do it is not gonna be easy. My buddy Corey actually gave me an easier way to do this. He said to mount the front of the seat to the bracket so you can have it pivot, then mount the four bolts in the bracket to the floorboard, and then pivot it back and mount the back bolts. That one didn't work for me because I had so little room to work with, but the other way worked fine, but I appreciate it, man, thank you. Don't forget if you are using a seatbelt receiver, uh, you are going to need to transplant one over. I suppose that'll work for now. It might not be the safest thing in the world, but I'm going to get a six-point harness eventually. Like, by that I mean very soon, so. Should work, no problem, I suppose. We'll see how safe it is while I'm driving. I might drive it today, but you're not going to be able to see anything, so I might just have to give you guys an update, like, tomorrow or something. We're going to wait until we get the proper safety equipment, like, with the harnesses and everything, so. Um, it might be a little while, so. Uh, I just figured I'd do a proper outro and uh, tell you that's the end of today's video. Uh, peace out. Keep turning those gears.